Well, hello, hello. Oh, had to double check and make sure I didn't accidentally mute myself. Because <laughs> I are a professional. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Coffee Craft with Anon Jr. And uh, yeah, got a little bit of review, some things that happened over the weekend. And we're going to finish off the farm. We're going to fix another one. And uh, some other shenanigans around. So, a little bit of what happened over the weekend. Oh, let me uh, unmute Discord while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Uh, say hello, Arcadius. Hello, Arcadius. Uh, Arcadius is back. Ray Est finally was a <laughs> had enough time to log on the server uh, yesterday. He's like, wow, you, you guys have been busy. Yes, yes, we have. So... I had some time over the weekend to work on the server, and it was one of those things where I really wanted to work on a, a log farm and some other stuff, but uh, uh, <clears throat> just wasn't quite there. So I did some small, you know, um, quality of life type changes, like I swapped out the glass box for panes, which makes the windows look a little bit better. Um, I <laughs> um, turned this into an actual little nook instead of just the bed sitting in front of the window added a rail and some other minor details um, <clears throat> the roof ended up getting a little bit of a revamp and that's kind of what kicked off this quality of life series of changes because <laughs> I walked outside and a creeper fell off my roof and almost blew everything up and I decided that was the last time I was going to have a random creeper spawning on top of the roof so <laughs> I rearranged everything so it's either a slab or a stair but either way, it's not a spawnable surface. And then the roof looked really weird. And I was never happy with the cathedral roof, so I'm like, eh, let me lower it down. I need some blocks. I also needed some storage because I still had a, that chest up there and a few other chests floating around. So I, uh, I, I, I put some storage and lowered the roof. The barrels do look kind of nice. I, I, in retrospect, I should have done it so the bottom of the barrel was down. Um, so you got the bottom texture that looks a little less like, hey, there's a barrel here. But, um, eh, maybe I'll fix it, maybe I won't. I also replaced the double chest that was here and the double chest that was here with barrels. Why? So I could use the space above them for a couple more barrels <laughs> and start going through some of these enchantments. Um, I'm trying to break them down for things like, uh, the ones I want on the bows, the ones I want on the tridents, and... That sort of thing, because I am tired of opening up a chest and randomly sifting through books until I find the ones that I need. Um, that project will resume when I again have more uh, time than energy, and I can do something a little more mindless like that. Otherwise, it really does kind of fit in nicely with the decor there. And if you're looking at the potion brewers in the walls, you'll notice a small change. When I built all four of these a couple of weeks ago, I had built these last two on the same template as these two. So it looked a little asymmetrical because all the barrels were on, or all the barrels, all these uh, chests full of uh, water bottles were on the right hand side and it just, it looked weird. It looked wrong. So I went in and I dug these out and flipped the uh, redstone and whatnot around so that way this side is a mirror of that side and it's got a little bit more of a uh, symmetrical look to it. But otherwise everything is pretty much as it was and working quite nicely. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll need anything in there while we're out and about. I also took my little finishing station and moved it from sitting on the floor in the corner to tuck in a little spot on the wall with a barrel instead of a chest because again that that I don't have to worry about opening and closing and what's on top of it and um, <coughs> want to play around with a little bit of some barrels too and uh, yeah so that's all set uh, let's actually uh, take a look at the roof out while we're out here I'm still not entirely happy with this roof. Roofs are a roof, roofs, roofs. They're they're a bit of a weak spot for me. Um, so, a little bit of a different incline. It's not quite the same symmetrical incline because we got stair slab, stair slab. But uh, the nice thing is, is this is not a spawnable surface. 
I still gotta go back in and light some spots over here and that kind of thing. And that will come later. Uh, what I might do is I might just throw down two or three snow layers on there. Enough to prevent spawning and so it blends in with the background there. And uh, yeah. I also, speaking of quality of life thing, I got tired of trying to hunt down Arcadius's uh, villager with the golden carrots. So I took the time to get those three, those three, and those three all leveled up to the point where uh, I could trade with them for golden carrots. So I now have villagers quickly at hand who I can trade for some golden carrots and some melon slices and all that good fun stuff. And the best part is, well, I just emptied these boxes. I can go grab the carrots, potatoes, or whatever right out of here and trade their produce back to them for, uh, for uh, my golden carrots. Hey, 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 none of that over there, guys. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Yeah, no. I'm not having a population explosion again. Oof, that was... Oof. So anyway, some little quality of life stuff over there. And if we go into the nether real quick... Real quick. Uh, this one was already down to a half slab, so that way nothing could spawn in here. But the hallway here was not, and if you remember when we were moving Bill and Ted on their great adventure, we had some minor issues with uh, pigmen spawning, and we've been having problems with them off and on all the time. Like, uh, we, we'd come to go take the rail down only to find that dispenser empty, because random pigmen were coming along, walking up on the pressure plate, and, the cart, and sending the cart off on its way. <laughs> so all this has been dropped down a half slab, so that... Um, it is no longer a spawnable surface, and I went through and did that all through here into Arcadius's little portal room. Kind of blocked that off a little bit. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a near thing, too, because uh, around the corner here, Arcadius has his idiot in a boat. That's been, He's supposed to be a... Um, Volunteer. <laughs> volunteer for a trident farm but that, that quite hasn't materialized yet so he's been sitting here this whole time and while I was working on the slabs over here a uh, baby zombie pigman chicken jockey jumped in the boat with him and it was kind of kind of interesting trying to get that um, resolved we'll, we'll call it resolved that's a nice word for it <laughs> so yeah all this has been dropped down. I replaced the one weird brick with the netherrack, so that way that all fits. Oh, I forgot to do that there. Hmm. Put some better doors in here, made that look a little more symmetrical. And onward and upward there. And of course that was already all set up there anyway. And before I forget, I also want to run back to the Guardian Farm so I can show off a little bit of what Arcadius has been working on. So yeah, there was a little bit of time spent on the server, mostly uh, selling away all my pumpkins and melons and carrots and potatoes and whatnot. So I get those villagers traded up and uh, doing little things like that, making the server a little bit better place. A little bit easier to navigate. Uh, oh yeah, I put some half slabs over there too. Even though we haven't been using that tunnel. It, it, it seemed worthwhile. Glitch. And, and so because, uh, because we've been going through and trading with those villagers to get them leveled up, my carrot, potato, melon, and pumpkin supply is uh, somewhat diminished. Yeah, we'll go with diminished. And, um, yeah, that, so I, I decided to AFK for a day, uh, so I logged in last night, left myself AFK over by the farm, got some more, a lot of melons and, uh, pumpkins, and a little bit of carrots and potatoes. I, that farm was so much better in 1.13, so I'm really gonna have to go through and update it to 
the uh, the one dot fourteen version, or do something a little bit more one dot fourteen friendly for the way the village mechanics work. Uh, although honestly, I don't need massive amounts of carrots and potatoes, except every once in a while like that. So I'll I'll, I'll let them trickle in like they've been and see if uh, see if that's enough for now. And uh, there's our portal in sight. Almost getting there. Um, why is there a random map in here? Okay. <laughs> Questions you don't ask. That was, uh, probably contents of the chest that was on the upper part of the island back to the, the main area. Uh, I only got about half of that. <laughs> I may have accidentally created a map while I had a full inventory while riding in the minecart. Oh. <laughs> oh, not maybe. You, you definitely did. So we got a partial map of the nether. <laughs> that seems less than helpful. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is less than... It, it is much, much less than helpful. Um... Arcadius is working on a new roof for his area, so mind mind the drop. <laughs> and we are going to come down and visit Bill and Ted, because they have had an excellent time. If you remember, last week we left them kind of free range roaming around over there, and uh, they are mostly okay with it. Oh, and before I forget since I walked by this thing and it reminded me. Um, Arcadius was watching last week's stream, and he gets to where I was mentioning something about not being able to find the input chest on this guy right here. And he starts cackling madly. Uh, because this fool does not have an input chest. He's just been busting a <laughs> hole in the wall like it's, you know, the early beta days. Busting a hole in the wall until he gets to the, the, the dispensers. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's it. I'll stop right there. I don't hear a problem with this. He, he makes beautiful buildings, though. <laughs> like this room right here. This is Bill and Ted's new home. Look at that glorious floor. There are some rooms for some other uh, yahoos that will get added soon. Looks like we got our workstations all lined up, ready to go as well. And there is Bill and Ted, master traders. Uh, we are going to have to help Arcadius get these guys to uh, start breeding up because apparently they, they've not been uh... yeah cooperative yeah they've not been very cooperative we'll, we'll go with that one um, <laughs> and we might have to work a little bit on a redesign of uh, the cell because it's kind of hard to reach them from here We'll get to that soon enough. Oh, yes, and we got a clock in here too, because that matters. Yay, changes. No, 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 that, that, that is an okay change. I don't mind that one so much. It's annoying when you're trying to trade off a, a bunch of stuff, but yeah, the villager trading is much better than it was before, so I, I'll take the trade off. But uh, yeah, look at that floor. And speaking of this floor, that brings us to our next stop, back over at the main base. Because you see all that dark prismarine? When Reyest logged onto the server, after having been at, you know busy with work and not having an opportunity to log in in a couple of weeks, she looked down there and saw all that beautiful dark prismarine. <laughs> <laughs> and reminded somebody that they had yet to make her a squid farm because she wanted to work with some dark prismarine too and uh so where was all her dark prismarine 
where was all her stuff? So, uh, yeah, Arcadius started that project, and we got to help with the collection system. So what we're going to do is something very similar to what we've done here. Um, I don't know if we're going to try to filter it or just let it all munge into one big storage system. Uh, I'm leaning towards filtering just because I am the over-engineered, over-organized sort. And uh, we're going to use the same unloader system here, so the powered rail over the... Uh, over the hopper there and the comparator off to the side. That whole deal. And what I need to do, why, why is that in subtract mode? That shouldn't be in subtract mode. So far, so good. Um, also, we're, we're going to eventually have to make a return back to this side to uh, put a second sugarcane farm below the first one. Same footprint, because uh, while this thing has been ridiculously productive on the gunpowder front, it's been a little sad on the sugarcane front. Although, don't go by what you see right here. Arcadius has been busy. In the chest below you. <laughs> you know, that's what I opened up when I said you've been busy. Um, <laughs> we've also got some other stuff to clear out, and we might need to throw more into the garbage side just because that accumulates really quick. Or maybe we'll start filtering out the garbage a little bit better too and like dispensing all those arrows into the ocean or something. I don't know. <laughs> Because uh, we definitely want the bones, we def definitely want the string, we definitely want the sticks. We got some other stuff that got, you know, shoved in here because it was a nice, convenient, random place. Uh, the rotten flesh we're probably going to keep because that is great for trading with the cleric and getting, uh, getting emeralds and all sorts of stuff like that. But uh, I'll keep rambling on that direction as I start railing my way back. I also wanted to take a look at the unloaders so I could refresh on uh, what that looked like. Okay. So, after uh, Ray asked very, very sweetly, but, but where's my ink farm? Um, <laughs> Arcadia started working on the ink farm. He's using a, a design that it worked at least in 1.13, if I remember right. And I'm not 100% sure if it works in 1.14, but it's kind of like no matter what we want to do, it's the starting point for it. So why not? We'll give it a try, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, then we'll start making some changes. And uh, yeah, so I just need to go run and do a collection system just like what we had there we are going to do the magma cubes in there because there are drown that like to spawn in there too and uh, we want them to go away as well and it will kill these and putting magma cubes in there will kill the squid sorry uh, mosquito flying right across my face there um idio <laughs> butterfly yeah it's been that kind of week by the way so uh <laughs> Uh, hopefully I will endure for the length of the stream, but uh, don't don't be surprised if I cut it a little short. Um, the ADD is strong today. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do the collection system next. And then, if you saw my Twitter, at Anon Jr., it's... There? No. There. There we go. Uh, right there next to my picture. Uh, Adonon Jr. If you saw my Twitter, you'll you'll see that I tweeted out a photo that was taken uh, earlier this morning showing a, a slate. Um, well, let's just say our iron farm could use a little more fiber in its diet. Um, 
the the two by two hole that was big enough for the design when it was when it was a 1.13 iron farm is a smidge on the small side apparently and so when two iron golems are uh, of course it's night time right. let's wait for the bed so while two iron golems are spawning and dropping off the 1.14 platform at the same time or near enough to it they are blocking each other from falling into the hole and so there there was a uh, there was quite a few iron golems and of course it's one of those problems that gets worse the more it sits there so you know two of them eventually one might nudge the other one and then everything will go about its business um but then you add in two more and then they start jostling each other and it's a little bit harder for them to work around each other and then you get two more and they start jostling with each other and it gets even harder for one of them to fall down and even if he does there's still a bunch of them and so yeah it was a uh, iron giant waiting pool up at the top of <laughs> the iron farm and uh that's going to be that's going to be on our fix so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to widen that 2 by 2 hole there and make it a little bit bigger and since we don't need that second platform i'm probably going to rearrange a few things so maybe move the killing platform up a little bit into there so that way we can get an item filter before it gets down here and that way so that killing field will be up there a little bit more and start pumping all the um, poppies into a composter and start collecting the bone meal that way and that so we'll have a stack of chests full of iron and a stack of chests full of bone meal because that's a little more useful than the poppies I mean, if we need red dye, we get the dye machine. Well, we could just, you know, knock a hole in the wall like a caveman and uh, and refill the bone meal. <clears throat> oh, and uh, oh, it's a legit the, uh, strategy. Where where did the concrete maker go? Did Reyes move it? Mm-hmm. She was over here working on this uh, on the concrete maker this morning. You know, before I left for work, and uh, where did she move it to? Uh, Reyes moved it over towards the rail station. Okay. Uh, the Reyes is trying to learn redstone, which is good. Um, she is not working on redstone on stream, which we realized is also good. Because we are trying to keep a family-friendly rating. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> really and and to say if that. you ever doubted that she was raised by a marine, listen to her work on redstone. And that's all I'll say about that. And oh, where did it go? You need to go to the other side of the rail network. Oh, it's on the other... Okay. It's all the way on the other side of the rail station. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There's, all the road. Ah, nice. <coughs> so originally she had just put the redstone up in the little hole that it was, and I mentioned that we were going to have to move that eventually. And uh, apparently she took eventually to mean now. So... <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Um... I might add a collection system to collect some of the uh, concrete as it breaks off, but the way this works, you, you get the, the concrete in your offhand, your pick in your hand, and you hold down the right and left mouse buttons, and it'll automatically plop down the concrete powder, and the pick will pick it away when it's concrete. And this guy here, the observer, will see you put the powder down, and then trigger this dispenser to dispense you another concrete powder. So you can load up a massive amount of concrete powder and it'll, it'll just keep you refilled through and through. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And this, is a, this is a nice little design. I like this. Second floor. Oh, we got a bed and everything. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, bench. 
probably should fill in the uh, slabs in the middle there. So we don't have a floating bench. Although, I find it kind of funny that she was okay with a floating bench, but she was not okay with a floating dispenser. It's not a floating bench. Step back and take a look at it. And that whole roof is half slabbed. It's not spawnable. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. I see. It's a swing, isn't it? Yes. Okay. okay. So she can sit and watch the fish behind you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, well, for a second there, I thought she was going for a bench to sit and watch the fish, and I, I couldn't figure out why, because when she built this over there, and she was struggling with some stuff, I, I helped her, you know, oh, yeah, no, no, put, put a block there, and... And she goes, but what about what about the dispenser? It's just floating. I was like, yeah, that's fine. And she goes, no, 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 I don't like floating things. And, and puts a scaffolding under it. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out why there was a floating bench. Because if the uh, if the floating floating dispenser was too much, then how, what about the bench? That's cool. Okay. Uh, oh, map. Let me go put that in Arcadius's mailbox, and then we'll fly off to the squid farm because it is already 30 minutes into the stream and I've been rambling about that stupid squid farm this whole way. And this mosquito is getting on my last nerve. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head out this way. And eventually, we're going to come across an abandoned... Apartment project by Arcadius. Not abandoned. Oh. Indefinitely postponed. Um, actually, I think after seeing Reyes' more uh, modernistic build for the farm that she made that you just showed off, I think I sweet talked her into coming over there and building a second building. At which point now I just need you to build a third and then I can go ahead and build the road and. <laughs> we'll have our little modern city finished. Okay. I see how it. Okay. Um, all right. So here we are at what will be the squid farm. Uh, so, yep. That, that is just a pit of water with bubble columns and water pushing them off the edge. And way up there is a little AFK platform. Uh to be completed. That is a work in progress. I would not AFK there just yet. Not, not without a little more glass for the booths. Uh, oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to grab oh, glass. It is perfectly safe. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is. That. I've slept there many a night. Yeah, as l yeah. Then you're not really AFK, are you? You're just half paying attention? What was the abbreviation for that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I think the abbreviation is asking for creepers. Uh, not so much asking for creepers, but uh, I, I'm thinking more of the uh, the flying guys. Well, that's if you're not sleeping. <laughs> I was at least smart enough to put a bed up there. Yeah. In fact, it's about the only way I land. Yeah. I wait well, until it's already dark, and then I coast in, and then I right-click the bed <laughs> to land. Okay. Well, well, all right. Um, also, while I was wanting to be busy but not really focused enough to do anything of consequence, I filled in a bunch of the river around this to uh, increase the, the spawning rates. Because there, there was enough river underneath that part there to hurt the spawning rates of that, even when you're up on that platform there. And eventually, uh, I'm sure I will have another restless day where I can go fill in the rest of this and maybe break it out to about here or so. Uh, I will... I'll probably have to take it back up and load, load it back up and then use... Uh, one of the Vanilla Tweaks mods to, to draw a spawn circle around when you're standing up there just to see how much river I gotta fill in to make it so that little cistern there is the only place that, that uh, squid will spawn and other stuff. Uh, 
But first, to do anything else, we're going to have to drop all this stuff down. Two more blocks. Because I'm going to need one for the rail with the cart and one for the magma cubes. And if we were to do that here, that leaves an uncomfortably short amount of space left over. And I would be kind of worried about stuff uh, making its way back into the uh, back into the cistern. Oh, I, I guess I'm going to be filling in uh, that spot there a little bit sooner than I expected. All right, let me go around the other way. As we listen to the bubbles. Bubbles! You do have particles set to low, right? Um, it's been okay so far. And I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Uh, options, video settings... Performance, quality, quality. No, not quality. Performance, no. I think it's details. Details. Alternate blocks, introduce shadows, held item, tooltips, fog. Animation. Animations. There we go. I have particles set to decreased. I'm going to put that to minimal for the moment. And it's nighttime. <laughs> of course it is. That's, that's one of the running gags on the server. Well, I wish it was a gag. Uh, it is a fact that anytime I get ready to start something or in the middle of something, it will inevitably go dark. Log on to the server, nighttime. Get ready to stream, nighttime. Because <laughs> sometimes that's just the way it goes. Oh, look at that. The salmon wants to say hi. <laughs> he can say hi to my frying pan. Yeah, I've learned that uh, if you use the, the same rockets I use to get rid of the pillagers mm -hmm. on a huge school of fish, you kill all the fish. Mm. Ever since you got the uh, the rockets for that crossbow, you've been... Uh... Beer fishing? Yes. Yeah, and taking a bazooka to a pillager patrol? I accidentally... Uh, <clears throat> well, you'll find out. Uh oh. Have you accidentally started another raid? You, you'll find out later. Oh no. I know you started making those rockets with so many uh, whatchamacallits in them that the, the list kind of scrolls off the edge of the tooltip. Well, yeah, because it's ex exponential damage. Uh... So if you only do it with the the one fire, or not fire charge, uh, firework uh, star, it only does like a heart of damage, where if you use two, then it does three. If you, you know, and it just keeps ramping up until you use all seven, because that's the most you can use. At which point, you can drop an entire pillager patrol with two rockets. So in today's military industrial complex, uh... <laughs> you were looking in the boxes where I, I make the stuff when you were out at the farm. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> no, I saw them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that needs to come down a little bit. That needs to come. I'll be with you as soon as I finish repairing my stuff. I definitely want to 
replace the sand. Oh, um, on your way over here, grab mm -hmm. a box of uh, stone brick or stone, either way. Yeah. I would like to uh, put a floor that clearly says, please don't break me <laughs> underneath the rail. One's going to be building out there. To be completely yeah, honest. Yeah, you say that. Man, an elytra takes forever to fix. I don't know. It depends on how run down you let it get. Oh, it broke on my way over there. Otherwise, I'd have been there before you. I almost died. Crash landed with like half a part left. That's probably what I get for naming it uh, a gnomish dirigible. Yeah. Known for their uh, quality craftsmanship. I mean, I know for the craftsmanship, just um, not necessarily the. That's right, you've been uh, enjoying the return of WoW Classic. Well, that's that's known even in D&D &D circles, that you just don't trust what gnomes make. It, it tends to either not function as advertised, or um, will blow up in your face. Well, let's be honest. WoW borrowed far more from D&D uh, &D than... Uh, they might lay claim to. <laughs> Very true. But don't tell them that. They'll get upset. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we got that water cleared out there. I want to take this down one more so that way I can put in a proper stone floor. Because somehow, building on sand seems like a uh, bad idea. yesterday yeah it was yesterday all that sand that I dug up that I've been dumping in this river <laughs> by the time uh, by the time today's done I'm probably gonna have to head back to the guardian farm to repair my shovel Oop. almost bad ladies and gentlemen that is why I usually prefer walls made of stone or brick because you can easily efficiency yourself into trouble Also refilled the uh, the rocket boxes inside the community storage area. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I my own my own farm seems to be a little heavier on the gunpowder than it is on <laughs> on the sugar cane. Yeah, it's my main issue is I can't do more because I don't have the paper <laughs> production to do it. Yeah, I have more than enough. Uh, Oh, I got I got gunpowder. I kind of wish that there was a villager that had gunpowder as one of his trades. <laughs> so yeah, uh, which one's that? That's an armor. All right, and what happened to Mr. Armor? Apparently, it's not safe to hold a crossbow in your offhand while trying to trade with uh, villagers to repair your equipment. Dude. 
seriously. <clears throat> well, they all like me again, thanks to uh, <clears throat> all the iron I gave them. Yeah, yeah, bribe them into loving you again. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I had to. Because <laughs> they were not happy. <laughs> you forgot the box of brick, didn't you? No, it's right here. Hmm. Okay, good. I just hope we have enough uh, magma left. Uh, we should. If we don't, I have several stacks laying around somewhere. <laughs> Probably over at the... Uh, yeah, it's that somewhere part that's always a troublesome little something or other, isn't it? Um, no, like, I'm fairly certain it's over at the underground city I was building. Because I was going to originally make it an underwater city. And then I decided against that. the wall with brick while we're at it. Although, uh, I gotta figure out the rail. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have three carts going on on a trip. Or if I want to just have one make the circuit. But I think one will be enough. I mean, it doesn't have to be fast. It just has to collect it all before it despawns. Yeah. yeah. I think I agree with you on that one. The more cards we use, the more likely we are to have an issue. Yeah, well, there is that. There is that. So, all right, maybe we'll just do the one then. Uh, no, I haven't exactly had much, uh, much time at work for books, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. Podcasts, anything? Uh, I'm behind on my podcast, I'm behind on my YouTube, I, I'm behind on a lot of stuff. Especially because today was one of the, today was one of those days, I just... It wasn't bad, it was just difficult to focus. Of course, you know, the AC was out yesterday, so didn't sleep well. Stinks. Yeah. Oh, that's still full of Hopefully they get it fixed in the for you. Right. Yeah, uh, I know <laughs> the AC is fixed. Which is beautiful and glorious. Dump all that in there for the moment. And pack those down. There we go. It'll take up a little less space. Regular rail. 
levels. And that's it for the moment. Collection. Do we want the collection all the way up on the surface? Or are we okay sinking it down just a little bit? Makes me know never mind, it just helps me know what to what to do next. Microphones are usually helpful. <laughs> I said if you were Ray asked, what would you do? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the one who wants this farm. Yeah, she just wants the results of the farm. I, I don't know that she really cares about the farm as in, like... <laughs> is it pretty? I don't think that's one of her concerns at all. <laughs> I think all she cares about is stacks and stacks and stacks of ink. That's... Yeah, I would like to argue with you, but I'm, I'm really fairly certain that you're <laughs> exactly on point for that one. I mean, you know, she's wonderful, but... Let's, uh, let's remember who we're talking about. This will be enough power. I can't believe I'm being all wasteful with a redstone like this. That's not normally me. Although we got the cleric up and running again, so I can trade with him for more redstone. I gotta redesign that, uh... The trading hall. I definitely want to set it up so we can start using two floors instead of just the one. That way we can get more librarians in there, as well as at least two of the other professions. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely want two of the... Um, I don't know about you, but I would really love a mason. Well, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I, you know, two of the guys to trade um, food. Two of the guys fact, to trade, you know. In fact, the, uh, the miniature storage where Bill and Ted are. Um, yeah. I, I already have it slotted so that one entire wall, which is seven, is nothing but the Masons. That way I can get a uh, ready supply of quartz. <laughs> yeah, you do love your quartz. Well, it's hard to come by a off-white block that, you know, has some decent texture to it. Because, honestly, hey, off-white block, going, you only really have, like, two... Yeah, it, well, you get the bone blocks, but the texture is a little weird for some of the stuff that you've been building. Exactly. Ugh, out of sand. Okay. Uh, there should be some in the random project box, the white one, next to the bed. It's not like we're not standing next to a desert. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. We're in the <laughs> middle of the desert, so if you're having trouble finding sand, uh, we, we get other, other questions. <laughs> uh oh. This is the way we go round and round and round. Tom's still wearing my villager head of shame. There you go. I was wondering why I was drowning so fast. I was like, what in the world Oh, because you don't have your respiration helmet on? <laughs> yeah. That is going to make life interesting, isn't it? We'll see if we can make that work. Hmm. 
We should be having some squid spawn nearby though, should we? I'm staring at quite a few right now. In the uh, cistern or outside? Happily floating around, not where we want them. Exactly. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain I've collected more ink building this yeah. than I actually expect to actually get from it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tony, we are in the process of building an ink farm. Ray asked uh, log back on for the first time in a while and saw all the dark prismarine that Arcadius has been using and was wondering where where her ink farm was. <laughs> it was interesting when you're on the sidelines. <laughs> fairly certain I protested making an ink farm for about an hour. Yeah. Guess what I'm doing? Yeah, we, we, we know how that works too, right? <laughs> I hate that that's not symmetrical, but I gotta make that corner. Okay. Uh, I got at least three going that way. At least three going that way. Then this should make it with enough time. Yeah, I don't know if you saw Azuma's uh, myth busting compendium. But I always, I was always under the impression that more powered rail helped it go faster. And that is apparently not the case. I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I thought it had a max speed. Um, he actually did a time trial with creepers in minecarts. And <laughs> one rail was powered rail all the way through. The next one was powered rail every other, powered rail every third, powered rail every fourth. Now, obviously, there is a, a distance point at which uh, if you go, if you let it run too far between powered rails, you're going to start losing momentum. But as far as a max top speed... Um, we're not really gonna. Oh, that's what we're, uh, we don't have a hopper minecart. Um, there's a hopper. I don't know if we got enough iron, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got words for you, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we have plenty of iron. Yeah. Uh, you see. I had afk oh, to replenish some supplies from my various farms around the base, and then logged in to find the iron, the uh, iron farm overflowing. Um, the wrench is a data pack over on the vanilla tweaks. So, is it modded as in bucket or that sort of thing? No, it, it is vanilla, but we do use a few data packs. Uh, that wrench will let you rotate glazed terracotta and redstone items and has been an absolute godsend, um, particularly on the uh, rotating redstone. Uh, I'll tell you your trying, to, trying to figure out the, the precise way to uh, angle something just so. All right, let's see if this thing goes around. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is handy indeed. Especially when you're trying to get observers pointing in the right direction, dispensers. Um, we've got a few different ones, about a dozen all told and a couple of crafting recipes. Uh, oh, that's right, they added... Well, Should tweaks. Be. Yeah. 
So we've got an AFK display, so that way it grays out a player's name when they've not been moving for five minutes. Uh, we've got the treasure gems. It's a treasure gem that randomly spawns inside of chests, uh, like in uh, abandoned mine shafts and that sort of thing, um, which Reyest wanted, and we were both fine with. Um, we got the rotation wrench, so that wrench rotates glazed terracotta as well as redstone. We've got an anti-Enderman griefing, so Endermen don't go picking up random stuff, because that gets annoying quick. Uh, that's one of those things that I really wish it was a uh, game rule that you could set, uh, and so that way you could turn off uh, the Enderman griefing. You can turn off mob griefing, but that turns off all of it. The creepers, the endermen, the ghast, all of it. And we, we want to keep it as close to vanilla as we can. We just don't want endermen walking away with the temple that we were in the middle of building. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we do have the player graves. So when a player dies, there's a little gravestone that kind of collects their stuff. You still have to make your way back to it, but it helps cut down on the things despawning before you get their problem. Um, multiplayer sleep, that is a necessity because there is one third of the founding trio <coughs> who is infamous for never having a bed on them. So we kept running into... Uh, <laughs> I didn't think anybody could take enchanting tables. Yeah, it... it oh yeah, that's... Uh, Oh, oh, so you do have a bet on you. Okay, all right. Or did you just grab the one that you left earlier? <laughs> anyway, so so one of the first things we did is multiplayer sleep in the server before this one. Uh, adding in data packs was not a thing. So we actually added some command block shenanigans into the bedrock to get the the net effect of multiplayer sleep because it was getting to be that big a problem. Uh, we got silent, a mob silencer, so you can name tag them silence me and it will silence the mobs, which is good for when you've got people decorating stuff. Uh, I, I really am more than a little tempted to go running around the villager hall and silence all of them. We got the more mobbed heads, so there's more mob heads in the game, like the villager head that Arcadius was wearing a minute ago, um, the wrench again. We've got a data pack that makes sure that all shulkers drop at least two shells. Uh, not so much an issue when it's just the three of us, but we are planning on adding a couple more people as uh, the seasons go on. We got at least one person lined up for when season one officially launches. We might add a second one but probably not just because we're trying to figure out how to how to grow appropriately so and uh, oh yeah and the ender dragon drops an elytra um, and the customizable armor stands which uh, if you saw last week's stream I pointed out the one that we had uh, restored for Rayest because she, she spent a fair amount of time on that Right now, uh, we're we're not. Right now, we're sticking to just people we know, so we're not exactly opening it up. Opening it up, uh, not yet. That if it happens at all, will be much much later on. We we tend to keep to small private communities, even when we were on WoW and uh, Knights of the Old Republic or Star Wars: The Old Republic. Uh, we were always a small guild of people that we know IRL. Nope. Quick draw. Is it I'm asking for a friend? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if we ever open it up beyond our circle of friends... Uh, it's definitely going to be a ways to go. Alright, so that cart works. Um, that should be quick enough. Now I just got to build the unloading station up here, but before I do that... Where did I do that? Yeah, this guy. 
Want to make sure he's bug out. I got a funny feeling that might be, um, that might be cutting it a little close. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, what do you think the odds are that, uh, Squid's gonna make it all the way to this corner over here? Because you asked, or the actual likelihood? <laughs> Well, no, you're not wrong for that. I mean, because I asked, I'm sure somebody will make it all the way over there. We don't cover a single spot. I think it'll be okay. Uh, I just put one more magma block a little bit further up. Just because... Just because if I don't, that'll be the day that some zombie comes, crawls out of the deep, and messes everything up. in my hand. I am definitely running low on those magma blocks though. That, that's gonna have to be a uh, that might have to be a sleepless night that I go around collecting a bunch of those. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We've been using Actually those a if lot you go to the side of the nether where <clears throat> where we have the fish farm and go out the door and down the down cliff there. There's a huge pick them up off the ground. Okay. Good to know. I know there's a bunch of uh, nether quartz over by the two blaze spawners. You know, if you want to if you're still looking for quartz. <laughs> no, no. I, I think I found no, no. an easier way to get my hands on quartz. You good? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. You, you don't want to hang out by the by the blaze? All right, I'm going to need at least one of those, maybe more. Need at least one of those and you know, let me go and make another torch. Those ready for some more. All right, so that's gonna go circling around that way. I really would like to replace the walls with uh, brick, but I'll wait until you're done filling in sand, <laughs> and we don't have to worry about the river flooding in as we go about that. How tall do I need to make this? And this guy over here. Think about. 
about this. I need to go up a little bit more. Um, you think a uh, three high system of chests? Like what we got at the uh, mob dropper over by the guardian farm? I don't see us getting more than that in a single AFK. Nor do I see it sitting there long enough to have an issue. <laughs> you say that now. Well, I say it. One, two, three. But the five squid I saw in there the other day, I still have not seen squid actually spawn in here. <laughs> um, that's not good. And we could just be too close. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, man. Yeah, the tired is real. I definitely did not get enough sleep last night. It's been killing me. One. Can I understand that? Never see me sleeping without some AC. And, you know, there was a certain puppy that, you know, was also restless. Probably panting his butt off. What did he go through last night? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Poor guy. filters and then one more up for the input yeah oh if I do this Actually, I don't know if you're still there, Tony. Uh, my counter keeps dropping up and down. You can do stuff like that. <laughs> it is glorious. Okay, so this is where... yeah. I'm going to need a little more power for that to get up there. I don't want to lock any hoppers that end up there, so let me put a redstone block right there. Mumble to myself a little bit more. I need two of those. A bunch of those. That's going to go there. Actually... The three power rail boost. So that should make it up and back down again. I'm going to need a comparator. Off of here. There we go. That is going to go 
into block. So the rail is going to run up here, and as soon as it starts unloading items into that hopper, the comparator is going to pick up the signal off of the hopper, which will power that block, which will turn off that torch, which will turn off that dust, which will turn off power to that rail there, which will cause the cart to stop. And it's going to stay there until it is unloaded, and the last item has left that there and uh, yeah and then once that there are no more items in the hopper the comparator will no longer have a signal off of the hopper which will unpower that block which will repower that torch which will repower that dust and the cart will go off on its way again I don't think it's going to pick up too much on any one given run, that it's going to spend all that much time up here, but I guess we'll, we'll figure that one out as it goes. Uh, so, naturally, I've put all this stuff in precisely the least convenient place. I'm definitely going to need to keep my inner chest out. I'm... You know what, I don't think I need the ice. Why did I have the ice? Oh, because I was going to need water for the farm. For the iron farm, for fixing the iron farm. I might still need power and parts. Um, done with rails for now. Yeah, because it's just the chests and the item filters and that sort of thing. Um... All the random junk that's accumulated for this project. Okay, good. That's all the boxes accounted for. And, ooh, hmm. Alright, that wasn't the way I was planning on doing it, but we can do it that way. I was going to originally run the input back this way, but it would not leave enough space for the locking and unlocking. Yeah, that wouldn't leave enough space for the locking and unlocking uh, of the filtration system. So unless I route it around that way, or... Could bring it around a little bit. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep going that way. as I try to figure out where it's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Bond radius is 128, and I built that at 120. The sphere where stuff could spawn has to be covered by this point. Um, I think so. Although I'd still fill in that little patch just because. Well, I'm going to finish where yeah. I'm at, but... But what, what I was thinking the... of doing was um, Wednesday after, after my guitar lessons, 
I was going to take a backup and then use that um, data pack that Azuma has published that will put the spawning sphere around the point. Okay. And then stand up at the AFK spot and load it up and see if it works as well as we think it does. <laughs> you mean works at all? Oh, you know, potato, potato. There for the moment. Those there like that, and that one goes down like that. That way, and that goes that way. And while I'm thinking about it, two, three, four droppers. Droppers. Oh, that's cobblestone, isn't it? Do you have a fortune pick or a whatchamacallit? Silk touch? Yeah, that, that's what I got on me too. Actually, hold on. Do you have a... Oh no, I, I got some random cobblestone from a previous project floating around here. That should be enough. Oh, never, <laughs> never, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I got a, I got fourteen droppers sitting right here in my redstone box for some reason. Ah. Because if you did, I was going to pull out my redstone box and let you take what you needed. <laughs> nope. Just one of those things that you know I totally forgot that it was even you know there. Like, I even have a redstone box. You don't? It mostly consists of TNT and... Um... Levers, but, you know. Or clocks, as uh, I like to call them. Uh, no. No, 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 no. for my my clocking system is really uh that, that's not a clocking system Piece of sand. <laughs> One piece of sand. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. This is a bulky little system. Um. Well, I've not been really too careful to keep it. Really think we need nine double either. chests? Hmm? Really think we need nine double chests? I think we're gonna filter it. What else do they drop? Well, we're going to get squid ink. We're going to get fish. Most likely uh, salmon, since that's all I've seen spawning around here. <gasps> what? They just spawned. What, the squid? Yeah. Nice. They're right there. Um, Wait, this wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the squid ink, we're gonna get the salmon, and we're gonna get whatever the um, which we call drop. The um, oh bother. Out of curiosity, which 
fish drops bone meal? Most of them. I didn't realize that. I started harpoon fishing the other day, and uh, oh no, <laughs> they started giving me bone meal, and I was like, "What is this from? What did I shoot that had bones?" The fish. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I, I didn't know they did. And I'm going. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Short term memory, something or other. Um. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. sitting here waiting for these six insects to be picked up. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have the filtration working yet. Oh, my bad. Eleven ink sacks, not six. something. Something's not. All right. That doesn't seem right. All right, maybe that is right. Is this gonna is this gonna give us cooked salmon or dead salmon? Dead salmon. Okay. Uh, because we're gonna need a bunch of both for the filter of uh, ink and salmon. I can probably help you with the ink. Alright, I'll be right back. If I can. 
take off. Okay, what is... Ah, come on, fly! Ah, that was a waste of rockets. Well, not a waste of rockets. I mean, I did manage to take off at least. Eventually. Says the raw salmon, right? It'll be raw. Sashimi grade or uh Actually I don't know. This is just off the demonic fortress, so I'm gonna guess that you don't want to eat anything that you caught wild out here, so probably not sashimi grade. <laughs> just you know, throwing that out there. I mean, we we got the dried kelp now. Good good. You should be able. You should totally be able to wrap kelp around a, uh, a cod or salmon. Yeah, here. cod or salmon. Make Mackie rolls. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Got rid of the top layer of source blocks, so I, see I can that. go back in and put down uh, water streams to push them to the side. Ah. Okay. Because it wasn't actually pushing them to the side until they got to the sides. Not very uh, helpful. Got to figure out where to put the source blocks to do that. seems off. Why do I feel like I screwed something up here? Because I probably screwed something up here. My ink box is out if you need to get the... Uh... No, uh, I went and grabbed a stack of each. Three, five. That doesn't seem right. Seems a little more like it. Okay. Man, I can't shake the feeling that I did that wrong, though. Is it that? I think I got that working. But I'm 
not feeling overly confident about it. flow over the top of other water without just trying to sink into the water that's there um I'm gonna have to destroy a second layer of I know there's something you can do with half slabs but I'm a little unclear on how it all works Casing this. Mm -hmm. This is what the fish were doing. Bouncing up and down. Yeah. I heard mumble, mumble, mumble. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Basically, I'm trying to okay. figure out a way to make them flow to the edges and out. to be a full block.
Oh, I thought you were Okay, good. I was like, I thought you were flying over to the bed. <laughs> yeah, I got my construction worker bed right over there. Just goofing off while I try and figure this math problem out. <laughs> okay. Goof. I have no idea how to figure this out. I also put down blue ice, you know. Push them out faster. you already picked up? 11, I think. Okay. Let's check it. Alright, let's start putting some of this away. Let's go. What did I grab out of here? Start making some more scaffolding too. I don't know if we have enough bamboo or anything. Wish I knew where I left that uh, that stone cutter. I put it down somewhere.
because we need to uh, <laughs> fill in that little bit of sand over there. Oh, I do want to come back and replace that with brick wall anyway. Uh, so... Said you've got the box of brick on you. Let's go ahead and do it. Unless you had a different project you were moving off to. Uh, well, I was looking at the time. And I was really hoping to do a little work on the iron farm today, but at this point, not so much. Uh, so let's do this. Let's see if I remember how this works. Bloody oath. the level I needed to be working at. Okay, okay. That you taking damage over there? Yep. Jumped out of the way of the cart just in time as it went by. Oh. I'm gonna say you shouldn't be in the way of the cart. I jumped over the magma block here down in that gully to get some sand uh, that fell. Yeah, I'm gonna be curious what kind of junk ends up in the cart. Although hopefully it got filtered out correctly. It was probably just as well. Stay waterlogged half slabs, if I remember correctly. Then we should be able to get the water flowing on top of the slabs the way we want, and then we can cut the slabs, and everything should be good unless there is a water update, in which case things get kind of weird. Then we'd have to pull up that Cub Fan video from when he worked on that Guardian farm early in Season 6. Because he did some weird stuff with uh, fence gates to get the Guardians to go the way he wanted them to. should be the center. Two, three, four, five, and that should be the center, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. And of course, that's not going to be enough to push them all the way out because we got the, the corners. But if I were to put a slab like that. Right? No. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. But is it what you deserve? Yeah, there are days. There are days. <laughs> I thought that would have, uh... Also, would it help if I just replaced the floor at the iron farm with, uh, blue ice or packed ice? Um, Get them to slip into the hole a little quicker? Nope, because that's not the... That's not solving the right problem. No, because I figure that's all the the only issue. They just weren't falling quick enough. No, no. the The hitbox on the golem is big enough that if you get enough of them, uh, oh, that is not what I wanted either. Okay. Uh, Just go. Uh, yeah, because the the hitbox is just big enough that if two of them try to get there at the same time, think that's when things get weird. Should be good. Alright, let's rip up these uh, half slabs. seem to be flowing towards the edge. The stuff on the corners has me kind of... I don't know, but... Okay, that guy got pushed out. <laughs> There's a wandering trader behind you. I guess we're going to pick up some uh, leather in this uh, farm, too. Who knew? <laughs> of course, I keep seeing those cows wandering about, too, going, hmm, I, I guess we'll uh, add a little some beef in here, maybe? They might. <laughs> do, do you want some surf and turf? Because uh, it looks like we're going to get some surf and turf. <laughs> Is it going to break anything if I break this... Uh you call this anyway. Scaffolding that's here on the backside. Uh, that is for me to climb up. I was going to put a door there. Why? Oh, you're going to put in a brick floor? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll probably there thank you, you for that later, too. <laughs> Everything's done. Alright, 
so we'll get unloaded then. Oh, there's the slabs and some sand and some sandstone and two leads and four leather. <laughs> huh, I, I didn't think it was going to be that kind of farm. Nice. Did you see what I did there? I wasn't paying attention. I was finishing up the <laughs> aesthetics here. I put top slabs on the top block of water because those were still ending up waterlogged slabs. Then I got the water flowing on top of those slabs the way I wanted and then ripped up the slabs. So the water stayed flowing the way it was on top of the slabs. Okay. And, uh... So it should always push everything out? So it should push everything up. I'm a little worried about the corners, and I'm a little worried about anything spawning dead center. Give it two seconds, and we can figure this out. Hold on. Oh, these guys look like they're about to uh, lose their fight against the current. Oh, there goes one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Almost. Stop fighting. Give in. <laughs> Give in to the inevitable. <laughs> he's just hanging out right there at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he's on the corner. That That's the one part that I was a little worried about was I didn't quite have the corners well enough. But uh, looks like he fell over the edge anyway. Or far enough over the edge that the cart picked him up. Okay, I'm up here. Now, I'm going to chuck a fish and tell me where it goes. Oh, okay. Are you dropping it down the hole in the center? Yeah. Some of them are bouncing up in the center. The rest have moved off to the side. Yeah... Uh... Looks like this has the yeah. corner, maybe. Checked a few at the corner edge, see what we get there. Yeah, it looks like the dead center is always going to be a problem. Yeah, well. Fish aren't going to like bouncing up and down, so they're going to try and get away from there. How'd that stuff work on the, cent on the corner? Well, if it's falling directly down from on top, yeah, no, that's not going to work. But most of these guys are going to die just over the corner. Um. Yeah, I'll have to come back another day and uh, try to get the corners up a little bit. But let's see. Uh... Oh, 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 off, off the burning stuff. Quite a few squid there, though. Did I miss a couple of slabs? Where did you pick them up? I don't have any. Hmm. Hey, we're up to 20 uh, ink, though. Yeah. Yeah, we still gotta come back and label these. Yeah, put something up to to label them. All in all, not too bad. We didn't get to the fixing part of things, but uh, I'd say that's still a good day. Yeah, I keep looking at the squid fighting the current. And they're going to, but yeah, it's going to eventually push them off. So, all right, so uh, you got AFK it. here for a night, and 
Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> just remember to encase your uh, platform in glass or something. Oh, jeez. Elongate it so I can actually land on it would be nice. <laughs> oh, that too. The other thing I was thinking of is uh, get some colored glass and make it so that way it looks like a squid head when you're looking down from on top. <laughs> but I'd wait until we get the water flowing just right and everything's working as good as it's going to get. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, put a glass wall up on the edges, raise it up about maybe uh, four, four-ish blocks above the top of the water. The actual flowing water. And then, uh, and then make the top look like a colored glass squid head. So that way we can still see through the stained glass, but, uh, well, you know, decorations are nice. Yeah, Rance has been busy on this thing. I gotta get cracking on my castle. That might have to be next week. I can't let her have the tallest build. I mean, technically, I think I have the tallest build, but, you know, whatever. Uh, a little AFK platform in the sky didn't quite cut it. They're good, sir. No, I'm not talking about here. I'm talking about if we were to measure from the bottom of your... You know, build to the top of your build. Oh, oh, you're talking about your giant hole in the ground? My fish farm? Yeah, I am. Considering that is starting at, you know, Y equals 5 and comes all the way up to, <laughs> uh, well, let's see, water level 62, and then I've put the dome on, so we're looking at another, I would say that's probably 100 up. So, yeah, no, I think I have the tallest build out of all of you. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Because we've been measuring at where your feet stand. Well, my feet can stand all the way at the bottom. <laughs> then you have the lowest build. Uh, well, right. I sometimes feel pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's been enough of that going around, too. All right, we got to half of what the title promised. <laughs> we built a, uh, we finished off a squid farm. There's probably a couple of enhancements that are going to be made between now and next week. We do this live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, let me uh, close that real quick so we don't get the clicking noise in the background while I try to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you would like to keep the server admin, this guy, in coffee, live.anonjunior.com is where you can support. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can donate, um, or at least I think it still works, because apparently the free page that I set up was only free during beta. Now they're asking for 12 and some change a month, and <laughs> I'm starting to wonder about that. Because uh, right now the Coffee Craft live stream is costing, is uh, earning me negative $16 a month. Because <laughs> we got the server costed there. Uh, so if you want to help out with that too, live.anonjunior.com. I, I may end up going with the Streamlabs Pro just so that way I get a little more background music. Because part of that is you get a, a licensed library music. And that'll give me a little, a few more options for stuff. But uh, that, that's for that's for looking at things a little bit further down the road. Uh, incidentally, if you do donate, you'll see your name up there in the top, right where I'm pointing. Um, so please help out. Coffee Craft Tuesdays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also do another stream on Thursday called Games Revisited. It is a um, leisurely paced walkthrough of classic games season one we're going through star wars knights of the old republic that wonderful game from 2003 and here i am thinking 2003 doesn't sound that long ago because in december 2003 i graduated and was starting work at the hospital and, and then i realized that 2003 was uh <laughs> 16 years ago Ouch. 
Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, we play through that on Thursdays. All the replays are available on Twitch and Mixer as long as they will keep them. So if you're watching them there, you'll you'll see this for at least as long as Twitch and Mixer keep them. And I also upload all the archives to YouTube. There is a link down in the description to YouTube. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, then you've already found it. Congratulations. And uh, in which case, if you want to see this live, there are links down below to Twitch and Mixer. So you can watch live either way on any all your favorite platforms. Follow, subscribe, like, all that good fun stuff that helps keep a channel going. Because those are all things that will help us grow this channel. The more you like the videos on YouTube, the more it will get recommended to people, which will help us grow the channel. Um, there is some shorter form stuff coming soon-ish. Uh, that, that is an official concrete estimate of soon-ish. <laughs> and uh, yeah, ho hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll start getting some actual short 20-minute type episodes going in the very, very near future. And... Uh, so to see those, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And yeah, I think I fumbled my way through all that a little more clumsily than usual. Like I said, way back at the top of the stream, it's been, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough couple of days. So I will say thank you, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.